God bless you. God bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our sweet Lord. Our shepherd. Our teacher. He is amazing. He is amazing. I have a word for you from the Lord. So you can bless and with more understanding and the Lord gave me John 3.3 3. and this um, particular uh, chapter speaks about a scribe and this scribe loved Jesus and um, he spoke speak very well about Jesus in the chapter but he don't understand by the word of God who was Jesus himself and are many many Christians are seeing Jesus but don't know who is Jesus who is really really through the word of God and then say Jesus something very profound and it's very um, good to understand and please share share this message so many times if you want so other get blessed with more understanding and there is more you need more to get more deeper in God uh, by knowledge and understanding from the word by the spirit of God otherwise you can't understand what is your walk in Christ if you don't know the the beginnings from the word of God what the word teach us and this particular scripture say uh, teach us there is no sight spiritual sight if you um, you are not born again and maybe you are born again and you have no sight no idea no understanding what is Christianity then you have to, to study and to listen to studies and um, so you get blessed by God himself so no man can receive something if it is not given from heaven it's very key but also you have to know what um, works out if you are reborn if you are a reborn Christian and you are baptized and you are dead of for your former life then you must be have sight and a lot I have a lot uh, teaching shares with with you on this uh, my channel so you get understanding and if you had get understanding from the Word of God you get sight sight what it means your life with Christ your life with your spouse you are not operating only in one realm and anymore you don't if it if you don't um, operate in your carnal mind but in the Spirit of God and if you operate in the Spirit of God you have sight in the Word and also um, in your relationship with the Holy Spirit so you can receive sight in difficult situations and sight and understanding and by wisdom and the Bible teaches Jesus answer and say unto him very very I say unto thee except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of God that means you have to be reborn and what it means reborn it's you received uh, the word of God you receive God Jesus as God and not as only a man from flesh and blood you are received Jesus as your Messiah as your as your king as your as your shepherd and um, and that speaks a very key scripture is um, that you uh, I read it for you for God loved so the world that he gave his only son because the son he whatsoever believed in him so not prayers but have everlasting life if you don't believe in the name Jesus you don't also believe uh, that you have ever li everlasting li life by the name of Jesus and if you believe you are um, righteous by believing in the Son of God and not you are righteous by you are uh, <laughs> doing well or you're doing good and uh, you do a lot of good things your your deeds are good no if if the if is that if you say so you you don't believe in Jesus his sacrifice if you don't believe if you believe only in your good deeds then Jesus died for nothing again 
if you believe your deeds are good in your code to heaven, then the sacrifice for Jesus was for nothing and you despised this sacrifice from God. He gave his son for you. Okay. That's not my uh, subject. Um, sight is coming by reborn through the word of God. And I listen if this was this this example what the Lord gave me. If you are reborn, that means you are a baby. You are not you're coming out not as a mature um man from but you are a baby and the baby sit on the table from the Lord and you see your food your bread and it is not bread it is bread with milk it's uh, fluffy and you are a baby and you're eating you're drinking milk with fluffy bread and it's not real bread and you're sitting on the table and you're looking around and you're wondering what is going on and you see a painting on the wall with a picture and you see things but you don't understand it you are a baby you are reborn every christian they think they are reborn they are understand everything <laughs> that is not what the bible teaches us you are a baby in the kingdom and you need teaching and you need guidance from the world by teachers in the kingdom the scribe was coming to Jesus and he knows the word but don't understand who was Jesus he don't understand it was the Christ if you are teach by the word of God like Nicodemus you don't understand there is a Christ there is a spirit in Jesus what is the Christ you can see as a baby and you are not if you know if you don't give your life to Christ you can see what the Word of God really means it is very good to read the Word of God and to 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 want to know it but it's not a carnal mind it's not a an 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 a carnal mind book it is not a an, an book with feelings and you can only receive it yes God can touch you if you not Christian uh, you are not reborn he can touch you but you can really understand what it means God is spirit and not God is not flesh I want to give you a listen again you are a baby on the table there's milk for you and there's fluffy bread bread with milk so you can't you have no teeth you can eat heart solid food you don't understand what it means and I want to read something so you get more understanding what is your position it means uh, also what is what you can see your position in the kingdom is um, very important to understand there are many Christians reborn or many years but they think they can see but they they have they have no sight listen um the book hebrews kept a very good um beginning for this and he teach us a lot of things um, about the priest and the sacrifice and he um, and then he stopped he think by himself and I he know the readers from his letter they are <laughs> not mature first Hebrews 5 verse 11 of who we have many things to say and hard to be uttered seeing you are dull of hearing by hearing comes understanding that means hearing is not only hearing to the word of god so you receive faith by hearing the word of god romans 10 verse 17 but also hearing is the word of god is doing the word of god if you are are 
teaching in the kingdom and you don't follow the guidelines and the commandments from God, then you can't understand good and right in the kingdom and you can not say what is good and what is wrong in your own life. That's hearing. By hearing you're receiving the kingdom. Twelve. For when for the time you are to be teachers, everybody need to be teacher. Everybody in the kingdom, everybody becomes a teacher. Why? How can you speak on street about the kingdom of God if you can't teach something about the word of God? Otherwise, you speak about your feelings and your thoughts from the word of God. If every the most of us are become a father and mother if you don't can teach your children you are not a teacher you need to be a teacher for we been for time are to be teachers he speaks about every day everybody yeah have need that one teach you again which the first principles of the oracles of god and become sucks ever you become he speaks about his become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat not of strong f solid food for everyone one that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness they can see the wrong or not wrong or evil and light they can see it for he is a baby but be strong meat belongs to them that are of full age, even those who have reason of use have their senses exercised, exercised, be proved, be skilled to discern both good and evil. If you are on the table with fluffy food, bread with milk, so it's not be hard, you can eat it and you see all kinds on the walls but you can't understand what is the shepherd on the painting from Psalm 23 you don't understand the seasons in Psalm 23 it's a very key this scripture and you have to exercise by hearing and doing the word of God so you can discern both good and evil you can be reborn and you don't understand this scripture you don't live it out then you are a baby okay it's maybe a little bit somehow uh, the, maybe you are listening and you're a little bit angry on me but it is too sharpened you and to fire you up and go into the word and uh, exercise yourself by hearing the word and doing the word the, and follow up the commandments from the Lord and by the teacher if you follow and teach online and you don't exercise and follow up uh, the, the teaching from the church where you come from then the word is coming not deep in your heart and it can it, it's will taken away by the situation in your life and you don't live and you can receive sight okay I want to fire you up and to, to encourage you please get the word in your heart and live it live by it and follow it up and you will get sight and you will get grow up to bless you to keep you in the mighty name of jesus christ